Every single one of us has taken coffee at one point or another. A fun fact about coffee is that coffee is the second most traded commodity in the world after oil. 2.2 5 billion cups of coffee are taken every single day and coffee is known for all its health benefits it helps with the liver with preventing cancers of all sorts and types and improves circulation and much more but not many people know why you should maybe not be taking coffee coffee has contraindications it can be detrimental to your health especially if you do not know the consequences or you don't know what conditions or when it's not a good idea to consume coffee every single day what are its contraindications when should you not be taking coffee? What health conditions are you suffering that might not be a good idea to mix with this type of beverage? That's what we're going to see in today's video. A fun fact about coffee is that coffee was discovered not by drinking it, but by eating it. Ethiopian tribes had simple goats that they would pasture every day and that they noticed would get a jittery sensation and be extra energetic after eating this seed in a plant of coffee. After that, everything is history. Coffee is sold all around the world. It's been traded more than maybe a trillion or, I don't know, 100 trillion times in history and coffee has been well studied for its health benefits it's also been studied for its detrimental effects to your health especially if you have health conditions mental conditions or circulatory conditions that might affect the way your body is functioning what are its health benefits but most importantly in this video what are its contraindications when is it not a good idea to take coffee how much coffee should you be taking and why it's a good idea to know all this information. Number one, anxiety and jittery sensations. Caffeine, which is found in coffee, is a stimulant. It's a substance that will stimulate your nerves function and your nerves nervous system in order to be more accelerated, to accelerate certain functions in your body. And if you're taking caffeine, you're taking coffee, you're taking a cup every single day of this beverage and you're feeling, feeling a jitter, jittery sensation, you're feeling anxiety, it might not be a good idea for you to take coffee every single day. Your nervous system might be just up and above normal what its function should be and taking more coffee might be causing it to come into a disequilibrium which is affecting your health overall if you're seeing anxiety jury sensations or you're feeling that you're more nervous than you should be you should be cutting back on coffee obviously every single person has its dose some people can tolerate one cup some people may tolerate two that depends on each individual and it depends on you specifically number two upset stomachs, acid reflux, and gastritis. If you're suffering from gastritis, you're not digesting properly, you're seeing acid reflux, you're seeing inflammation in your stomach, coffee is a stimulant. If you're seeing that your stomach is already delicate and you're stimulating the production of more acid, you're stimulating the irritability of this caffeine on your stomach and you're seeing more gastritis, well, obviously it's not a good idea. This needs to be fixed because if you don't have a good digestive function, you will not have a good health at all. Everything we digest, every single flavanol, every single ingredient, every single substance, every single vitamin that you are digesting has to end up in circulation, has to be reaching every single tissue. And if you're having a problem with inflammation, you're feeling bloated, you have gastritis, you're seeing acid reflux, this function is not obviously running well. Try to cut back on coffee. Fix this problem first of all, and then you can enjoy that cup of coffee in a couple months when you see that gastritis goes away. If you need something natural for this purpose, look for Ulcer Aid, GI Balance, ProBillion, and Coal of Gon from Finland at finelandvitamins.com. Number three, laxative effects. Not many people know that coffee has a laxative effect. And if you're seeing diarrhea, you're going too often to the bathroom. This happens, by the way, with vegetarians or people that eat lots of vegetables. You tend to go to the bathroom very frequently. If you take coffee, it's going to be more frequent. You're going to maybe see diarrhea. And this is not a good center because you need to stay within the normal range of digestive time in order for your body to absorb nutrients. If you're going to the bathroom every three hours, every six hours, or every eight hours, it might not be a good idea to take coffee. You might want to stay away from it, help your body go to the bathroom once a day, which is enough to have that frequency and a good absorption of nutrients that you are needing. Number four, it increases high blood pressure. 
Circulation is crucial for overall health, for mental health, for digestive health, for circulation overall. Now, if you're seeing high blood pressure and you're taking coffee and after taking coffee, you're seeing palpitations, you're seeing arrhythmias, even worse. But remember, this can even end up in a heart attack. It can end up in ischemia or even a blood clot that you might not be even knowing about because after that palpitation and that arrhythmia, you're seeing blood clots being formed. Coffee might not be something good to take when you're having all these conditions at once or things are getting worse with your control on circulation. If you need something natural that can help you regulate blood pressure and stay healthy with this respect, look for garlic gold, heart excel, and oxy elixir, which also boosts in energy your system from Fineland at finelandvitamins.com. Number four, tooth staining. And yes, you might need to go to the dentist after taking coffee every single day for months at a time. You're going to see the staining on your teeth. And naturally, this is something that nobody wants. Nobody wants to see their teeth being yellow or, or brown in any sense because you don't look clean. You don't look the way you should be. You want your teeth white and taking coffee will stain your teeth even though you didn't know about it. If you need something natural for this purpose, it can help you deal with this condition. Look for 5-HTP, melatonin, and quantum calm from Finland at finelandvitamins.com. Don't forget to give this video a like button. Don't forget to share. And remember, it's always good to consume every natural substance knowing what you're doing because you're consuming it for a specific purpose. Take care and God bless you all.